Grace and peace, brothers and sisters in the Lord. Hope everybody is doing well. If you're new, welcome. My name is Rosalind. If you like what you see with these videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. What you waiting for? Go, go, do it, do it now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyways, today prophetic word is coming from in the book of Genesis chapter 11. And the way I got to this prophetic word is I believe the Lord led me to this word, this particular verse okay i was meditating like few weeks ago i was just praying like god what do you want me to tell your people and the lord gave me a picture of a ladder this ladder started from in the earth and it was going into the heavens and that was how i knew the lord wanted me to go to, to the book of genesis chapter 11 verse 8 okay this is what it said so the lord scattered them from there over all the earth and they stopped building the city that is why it was called Abel because there the Lord confused the language of the whole world. From there the Lord scattered them over the face of the whole earth, okay? Now we can see the world leaders coming together, trying to play gods with little G, you know? We're the one that would take care of the people. We're the one that would protect the people. We're the one that would provide for the people. You know what I'm saying? Like, we are the one doing these things for the people. Like, I believe that with all the craziness going on i believe that god will um disrupt the enemy just like he disrupt the turn of babel here i believe that there will be a disruption in the enemy camp but nevertheless we should always you know pray when god give us a word pray about it like god what do this word mean like what are you saying through this word but i believe that through this word and through what i just read and through the vision that god gave me is that these people are coming together trying to play god like we we will be god we will do stuff so people can see us as god and not be able to rely on the true god so i believe that there will be some type of disruption among their camp but nevertheless you know this is what the lord wants us to do he always want us to pray right and how did he teach us to pray he said pray this prayer our father uh, we shout in heaven hallowed be that name that kingdom come that will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for that is that kingdom for power and that glory forever and ever amen so regardless of what the world leaders are doing i believe that the word that the lord wants us to focus on is perseverance okay and this is what perseverance means perseverance means to be persistent in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. So no matter what our so no matter what our world looks like right now, we should keep pressing into our God. We should keep pressing into seeking the law will for us on this earth while we're still here. Because I still do believe that we are in the end time and that we are still supposed to be persevering and doing the will of god with that relax be still and know that he is god and with god all things are possible okay and also don't worry about tomorrow remember god holds the whole world in his hands do not worry about tomorrow let tomorrow worry about itself and god will take care of this world problem that we're in okay and even even let's say let's say even if the answer of christ do rise like at the end of the day victory is ours because you know what jesus christ is going to take him down which is one word my brothers and my sisters so today i want you to focus on perseverance and also bringing this word into prayer god bless you all god love you um again don't forget to subscribe like comment uh, a prayer request and share this video so it can be a blessing to others bye friend